Now I have deliberately left these two, two diagrams since we'll be using it in this very video. So this was our conductivity cell, this was our Wheatstone bridge. Okay, now, now we, we require, you understand, for, for resistance, we require rho L upon A. Now what is rho? Rho is nothing but 1 upon kappa L upon A. Okay. Now this constant L upon A, L upon A is called, is called cell constant. Okay. This is a conductivity cell. This is a conductivity cell. Then L upon A. Okay. Approximately, approximately, this should be L, right? This should be L. Now, we had discussed that these, these L and A values, it is not only difficult to measure it, but all these measurements that we are doing, that is unreliable, okay? So, so L upon A is called cell constant and is denoted by, and is denoted by G, Star. Okay, this denoted by G star. <coughs> okay, now it's so 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 G star is that. Okay, now measurement of G star of G star is is unreliable. It is unreliable. Is not that reliable okay fine it is not that reliable it is not that reliable <coughs> so so what do we do so if this is unreliable okay then what do I do I have no way out Correct? Then I'll be always measuring a faulty, faulty conductivity or resistance of the conductivity cell. But there is somehow a way out. Okay? And the way out is that, that the conductivity of KCl, the conductivity of, of potassium chloride is known, known with a high accuracy with a high accuracy at different concentrations at different concentrations and and at different pressures And at different pressures, right? Now, just try to understand. This is known. Okay? This conductivity is known. Okay? You can get it from a table for, for KCL solution. Fine? So, what you do? You fill up this conductivity cell with KCL. Okay? Of, of a known concentration. And you use it somewhere in the Wheatstone bridge. So maybe here, maybe here, I use the conductivity cell. I, I denote it like that. Okay. This is my conductivity cell. Fine. And now I redesignate these. So I redesignate this as R1. This is R3 and this is R4. Does not matter how you designate it, right? This is this is the unknown. This is the unknown. Let it be R. Okay. Let it be R. Okay. 
Now, if I put it here, and, and, and what we do here, here normally we put a detector, okay, that can be an audio phone. And this, this frequency is from 500 hertz to 5,500 hertz, okay? Fine. This could be an audio phone or any sensitive detector. In an audio phone, the moment the current goes to zero, the, the sound stops and, and it's a fairly accurate way of sensing that the current has gone down to zero. So what you do, so, so, so what is our, our plan? We started with the cell constant and we said that measurement of cell constant is a bit difficult. So, so to, to bypass that measurement, we, we came to KCL whose conductivity is known fairly accurately, okay, at different concentrations and different, different, different temperatures, sorry, different temperatures, okay, at different temperatures. What I do, so I know the conductivity. I, I put this cell here and I balance the Wheatstone bridge, okay? So, so, so I'll write that. So, with KCL solution in conductivity cell, in conductivity cell, in conductivity cell, what do we do? We, we, Put the with KCL solution of known concentration of known concentration known concentration in conductivity cell in conductivity cell. We measure its resistance. We measure its resistance by balancing the Wheatstone bridge. Wheatstone bridge. Okay. So, so I, I keep this as the variable resistor. Okay, and and what what is the what is the what is the how do I go about it? I have R upon R one is equal to R upon R one in the same order you take the other ratio is equal to R four upon R three. It implies that R is equal to R is equal to R one into R four upon R three. Okay. So I use this relationship and what happens then? Okay, what happens then? I get this R, which is this R. I know this conductivity, fine. So if I multiply these two, I get the cell constant. Understand? I get the cell constant. So, putting the value of R, putting the value of R from 2 in 1, we get, okay, what do we get? I have this R, it has to be multiplied by kappa, okay. So R into kappa, R I got from here, kappa I had the conductivity of KCL solution, that gives me L upon A, okay. So thus we get to know the cell constant get to know the cell constant. Now with this value of cell constant, 
you use any solution you use any electrolyte at any temp any temperature any any concentration and then you will be you use it here <clears throat> okay <clears throat> you you find out the now now what do you, what do you do you know this l upon a you can measure r by putting it by by putting now anything okay you 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 throw away the kcl you put in whatever you want at whatever concentration whatever temperature okay and you measure the r so you get kappa that is the conductivity as g star upon r okay now for so 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 i write it here as a point now so so maybe okay so so i'm i'm talking about i'm talking about cell constant cell constant cell constant cell constant cell constant g star so so this is number 1 okay this is number 2 this is number 3 this is number 4 this is number 5 and what i'm writing is now we put electrolytic solution electrolytic solution of any concentration at any temperature Now we put any electrolytic solution of any concentration at any temperature in the conductivity cell, and and find its resistance from. the wheat stone bridge from the wheat stone bridge and then what happens from the wheat stone bridge and then what happens and get r now g star is known now from 1 we have we have kappa is equal to l upon a upon r which is equal to g star upon r right so so kappa kappa is equal to g star which we have which we have measured from here okay which we have measured from here that into r that we measured from the wheatstone bridge okay and you get the conductivity so that's how you get the conductivity fine so you get the point <clears throat> 